Welcome back to EP Daily. It's time to talk Star Wars, The Force Awakens. What? Everybody's seeing it. We've seen it. What do you think, my friend? Yeah, well, there's a lot of hype around this movie, obviously. Yes. I mean, every story you go into, it has something Star Wars. Everybody's talking about Star Wars. What are they doing today? They're going to Star Wars. They bought their Star Wars tickets in advance. I got to tell you, that hype is working against my feelings of the Star Wars kind of love that I have a, I a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I exact same feelings, yeah. my friend. So jumping into this thing, I set the bar here. I did not want to go up here with everybody else because I don't want to have too many high hopes for this thing. I don't want to be let down. So for that reason, I wasn't. I wasn't let down. Right. It really gave me exactly what I thought it was going to be. That's exactly what it delivered. There are some surprises in here that if you're a big Star Wars fan may be able to predict. You certainly see them being telegraphed as yes. you're watching the movie unfold. But I think one of the greatest surprises is how terrific all of the new actors are. Oscar Isaac, John Boyega, um, Daisy Ridley. Uh, and for my money, I think Adam Driver is just fantastic as this tempestuous, evil, bad guy kind of maturing into his role a little bit. And he has a lot of uh, awesome flare-ups in this thing that are really yeah, fun to watch. perfectly cast. And you felt it, too. You want to feel for the bad guy? Yeah. And I did. I felt for the bad guy. This whole movie is really all about ushering in the new. And I love that because there's so many people out there that didn't grow up with Star Wars the way that you grew up with Star yes. Wars. So they're being introduced to this thing, I think, in a very safe way. Yeah, I think the nostalgia was uh, a little perfunctory. It was just like it had to be there. They had to connect it for, uh, you know, people that have grown up with Star Wars like me. Yeah. It didn't get as emotional as I wanted it to. No, and there as, were no tears. Yeah, and especially with General Leia Organa, I feel like Carrie Fisher's performance and opportunity with the role was a little bit wasted. And, yeah. and I hope, you know, because we know the sequels are coming and there's a lot more stuff coming, I hope that they expand her positioning in this movie, but there were some missed opportunities, I think, with that. But Daisy Ridley, I think, is a fantastic new protagonist, and John Boyega is incredibly charming, and uh, Oscar Isaac is, uh, you know, he's kind of got that roguish, uh, solo-esque type charm in this thing, Oh, isn't yeah. He? yeah. I mean, he's got charm up the wazoo, this guy. I yeah. absolutely love him. So this movie did have charm. It did take us to places I wanted to go. I wanted more Chewy, for sure. I wanted yep. more emotion. For sure, but I did get exactly what I thought I would get out of this thing, and yeah. that's really all I can ask for. As long as I wasn't let down, that was the biggest thing, and I think this movie is not going to let any Star Wars fan down. It's a perfect tie-in to the original trilogy. We can forget about the prequels altogether, yeah, totally. which is great, which is what we need to do. Yep. And I just love the fact that I had to go to the bathroom really badly in this thing, and I <laughs> like I couldn't take it anymore, and I had to go, and I love that I was running to the bathroom. And not only was I running to the bathroom, but there were other people running to the bathroom to and hurrying from the back, bathroom, yeah. and we're running into each other trying to run back to the theater. I've never experienced that in my life going to the movies, and I love that that happened today. Tons of stuff in this movie, lots to enjoy. You're all gonna want one of those Sphero BB-8 things <laughs> after you see this movie. Movie. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to give The Force Awakens? I had a great time. It's getting a nine. It gets an 8.5 from me.